Another historic stop. Yeah. St. James Hotel. We're in Cimarron, New Mexico. Which we learned about from our buddy Jerry. Yeah, from Happy Place Diaries. He yeah. uh, did some scout stuff out here in this yeah. area and they visited this uh, hotel when he was here. So we came to check it out because, uh, like I said, very historical. A bunch. Allegedly haunted. Yeah, one of the most haunted places in the uh, West, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because lots of folks died here. Yeah. Because it was the Wild West, man. And, and it used to be, mm -hmm. it started as just a, a saloon and yeah. a restaurant. Henry Lambert, um, who was a personal chef to Abraham Lincoln mm -hmm. and President Ulysses S. Grant, um, came out west to try to make some riches in gold. Yeah. Didn't work out so well <laughs> for Henry. Um, so he did what he does best and decided, uh, if I'm not going to make my money in gold, I'll cook. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what I'm good at. Nice. So he opened a restaurant here in Cimarron and eventually became a hotel also. Mm -hmm. And some very notable guests stayed here yeah. at the St. James Hotel, including um, Wyatt Earp, his brother Morgan and their wives stopped mm -hmm. here on their way to Tombstone. Jesse James used to stay in room 14 all the time. Uh, he was out here. Um, Annie Oakley, um, just uh, there's a bunch. Um, Davy Crockett, not the Davy Crockett you're thinking of. Different, yeah. uh, it was a descendant of Davy Crockett, but this Davy Crockett was an outlaw and actually killed several Buffalo soldiers in the mm -hmm. bar right here. Yeah. And this is the original bar that's still inside the St. James. Um, like I said, a bunch of fighting went on in there. Yeah. So the roof of the, of the bar uh, eventually got reinforced with extra wood once they built the hotel up top because there was always fighting and shooting going on down in the bar. Yes. And they didn't want their patrons in the hotel to get shot. <laughs> They're still legit concern. Uh, when they re they redid this place, and when they renovated it, found over 400 bullets in the in ceiling, the ceiling. Yeah. of the bar in the saloon area. There is uh, supposedly still a bunch of bullet holes that you can still see in the roof, even though they've restored it. They left some of the bullet holes in there. Sweet. So um, we'll go inside, we'll see what all they're going to allow us to film. Uh, we'll tell you about some of the haunted stories in there once we get in there, if they'll let, just let us show you those areas. Yeah. Um, and we'll see how the food is, because we're going to eat in there. I heard it's good. Yeah. Jesse James. This is room number 14, and this is where he preferred to stay. He always checked in under the alias R.H. Howard. Holiday, Jesse James. I mean, there is some really cool old Wild West yeah. guys who play poker right here in this room. Yeah. I mean, geeking out a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's very cool. Yeah. It was crazy to see the bar that um, to be in the game, the buy in was $25. Yeah. <laughs> St. James. It's room number 18, and they won't let anybody in room number 18. It's 
unlucky 18. Yeah, and the reason why, there was a gentleman named T.J. Wright. Uh, he wasn't really famous for anything, but he was a frequenter of the St. James, mm -hmm. stayed here a lot, played poker here a lot. He was a high-stakes poker player. Well, one night, um, he won a bunch of money yes. in a poker game right down the hall here where they have their, their poker room upstairs. And um, I guess someone who, who we played against who took a lot of their money didn't appreciate money it back. very much. And mm -hmm. so as he was on his way into his room, he was shot right here on the place where we stand on his way into the room. He fell forward through the door into the room and bled to death. He died right here where we're standing. Mm -hmm. And um, it is now said that this room is extremely haunted. Uh, they used to let people stay in here. Yes. They don't anymore. Mm -hmm. Because there were, I mean, almost every time someone stayed in there, there was a report of some kind of a crazy goings on. Yes. Um, orange orbs, um, weird noises, things moving. One woman was physically thrown to the floor and injured. Yes. Um, and then uh, people who didn't really have a lot that happened to them while they were in the room sometimes would fall ill. And it was storied that they even died sometimes very soon after they yeah. visited this room yes. so for the safety of everyone uh the saint james has locked room number 18 yep you're no longer in every once in a while they said that they'll let people in like supernatural sure. ghost hunters and stuff like that yeah. but no one is allowed uh in the public to enter the room you're not allowed to take pictures or anything like that um which sucks because they could have easily put a little viewing window in here yeah, but you really don't want to wreck the original door. I mean, you could have took that door off, put a different door on. Even the door looks creepy. It looks like there's scratch That's marks. Right, yeah. It's got the old style padlock up here. The room number is still there. Um, of course, you see TJ yeah. up there. This room belongs to TJ. Um, there's not much in the room. Um, a bed, a desk, and a table. That's it. That's it. And some of TJ's personal belongings, which they left in there to kind of appease him and make him happy. All the more reason they should put a viewing window in there. <laughs> Going to the volcano. Yeah. To the mouth of the lion. This lion hasn't roared in 60,000 <laughs> years. <laughs> I thought it was 60 million years. No, it was million? I thought it was. It was a long time. 60,000. 60 something. Anyway, we're going to a volcano today. I had no idea that there was even volcanoes in New Mexico. No, I didn't either. But, like he says, dormant. It's not yes. going to go off. Well, we hope it's not going to go off. Our luck, it could go off. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. We didn't know it existed, but when we were coming from Amarillo to Raton, we passed it. Yes. And so we're going to go back and, and look at it. We did look it up online. We got a little pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Two miles to get to the top. Yes. And then there's a, like a mile loop around the, um, the rim. rim. Don't even do it. Sorry. <laughs> so dirty. We're gonna we're gonna cover the we're gonna cover the rim. We're gonna explore the rim. Yeah. Have you ever been to a volcano before? No. Because when we were in Hawaii Oh we lived in one. Well, we lived in an old one. <laughs> we did live in an old one. I, I just asked the stupidest question ever. Have you been to a volcano? We lived yeah. inside of a volcano before. Yeah. That's a crazy story. That, yeah. But we never got to go to the big island to see the volcano. The real Hawaiian island. Because yeah, we were newly married. Poor. Poor. We were E4s. <laughs> low on the totem pole in the military. And had a brand new baby. So, yeah. island hopping and exploring was not an option then. Plus, you don't want to bring babies to the volcano. No. <laughs> just in case it does go off. Not the children. Not the children. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we didn't get to go explore no. Hawaii's volcanoes. But it's a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be great all day. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably a little cool and a little windy up there. Yeah, I um, can imagine. But there's supposedly great views from up there. You're supposed to be able to see five different states. Five states. And we picked a day where there's not a cloud in the sky, so we should be able to see all five states yes. from up there. We will be able to see New Mexico, obviously. We'll be in New Mexico. Colorado, yeah. Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas. Wow. Wow. Awesome.
Rocky Mountains way off over there. Yeah, There's a map here that shows you all of the, uh, the lava flow areas yeah. of where all the lava flowed. You can see the mesas, the, the, which is like the flat top mountains, where all the lava flows flowed 60,000 years ago. And uh, a little scary driving up here. <laughs> it was because there's no guardrail. There's no ledge. Kind of weird. You just fall right off, even though you're going really slow. It's yeah. pretty stable. Uh, it would be worse than a dually. Oh my god, yes. Because you only got room for you in the other car. We only passed a couple of cars, but with a dually, I feel like I would just stop. I would just stop <laughs> and let them go and, and then, then figure it out after that. And like then take hog a the lane yeah. <laughs> and then when a car comes, get over and stop. <laughs> yeah. So there's a one mile loop around the whole rim of the crater, which we're going to walk. Yeah. Uh, we'll show you views from up here from all different sides of the volcano and then we'll show you the crater from inside the volcano We're actually gonna walk down into the bottom of the of the crater. Yeah, there's a trail there. That and we'll show you The bottom of the inside of the crater where the volcano went off 60,000 years ago. Yeah very Resemblant to the crater we lived in in Hawaii. It so is. far. Yeah, it does look like it a lot. Minus homes. Yeah, and um, <laughs> fun fact um, President Wilson declared this a national monument in 1916. Yeah. So for all you history buffs, there you go. <laughs> all right, let's get to walking. Okay. My lungs are on fire. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad they have these little benches. Yeah. Every once in a while. Yeah. We're about a quarter mile into the. <sighs> it's steeper than I expected it to be. It doesn't look that steep from down there at the truck. No. But you can definitely tell from up here how steep it is looking back down yeah. toward the truck. Yeah. Oh. I'm looking forward to going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other side. Yeah. Who? Won't be as rough on us. But this is just awesome. It's magnificent. beautiful up here, though. The uh, there's no possible way the camera is gonna do this any mm. kind of justice. No. Uh, but just to, hopefully it'll give you a little idea uh, that it's worth coming to coming to see. Yeah. Well, there's little placards and information and stuff along the way everywhere. Yeah. And he talks about. You know facts about the volcano and stuff and i didn't know this and reading the pamphlet before we got here but this volcano erupted for 10 years it's a long time well, we're at another one of the little markers yeah and it told us something else we didn't know <laughs> i did not know that charles goodnight and oliver loving used to raise cattle right near this volcano yeah if you don't know who those people are they are the character. They are the people who the characters from Lonesome Dove yeah. are based on. Mm -hmm. So if you've seen the movie Lonesome Dove, um, you know who who those two are. And we actually got to see their graves. Yes, which was cool. In Weatherford, Texas. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, it's very interesting also. So yeah. we'll put a link up here so you can go watch that video. And um, it's very cool because uh, I guess they raised cattle here and eventually drove them. We drove them from here. From here uh, yeah. to where they ended up and and actually where. Um, which one was it that died? Robert Duvall. Well, I know it was Robert Duvall, but I don't know which one of the real people it was. <laughs> I forget Spoiler it. alert, if you haven't seen Lonesome Dove, Robert Duvall dies. Leslie just ruined it for everybody. Thanks, Leslie. God. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. This is much better. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going, going down. But it's nonetheless a little scarier it is because if you miss a step or you you like or you don't have good traction whoop, with your shoes you go you're going ski it down you go you kind of have to like lean back as you walk to, oh you almost did it i should you turn the camera off did. i should turn the camera off because i'm gonna end up <laughs> in oklahoma all right i had to turn this one on right away all right safety first safety first let me give you all a little insight on the life of a youtuber so what I'm doing here is I'm going to walk down the trail here. I'm going to set up the camera and then I'm going to go back up there and then me and Leslie are going to walk past the camera and pretend like it's not even there 
and all that work will be for about three seconds of b-roll you're welcome down in the uh dang the wind it is tunnel. windy down here man because <laughs> the wind comes over the top of these things and it just spins ah. it just spins around inside this crater um but behind us you can see all these rocks back here that's the um the dried up lava that has yeah. plugged the hole of the volcano and uh it's pretty steep getting down here yeah I mean, we were just talking about how the toes our tips of our just toes jam hurt. into the front of your yeah, shoe. Yeah, because you're trying to brace yeah. yourself. And it's windy, man. I don't know how much of this <laughs> we're even going to be able to show, <laughs> if you can hear us at all, because it is just crazy windy. But it's pretty from down here. It's very cool. Um, I saw a chipmunk. We did see a chipmunk. I'll try to show it to you, but I'm trying to keep this camera stable just because yeah. the wind. Uh, so if you zoom in at all, it's just very shaky Shoot. footage if you don't have something stable to, to yeah. brace on. And when you're on the trail, you really don't have anything no, stable to no brace on. Um, but it's beautiful it's down here. There's another place that our friend Jerry from Happy Place Diaries told us about. Yeah. Cold mm. Beer, New Mexico. Never heard of it. <laughs> it um, technically blink. is a town, but yeah. it's just the bar is the town. If you blink, you miss it. But it is cold beer New Mexico and if you're in this area close to Raton or Raton or however people say it around here yeah um, you got to come out and get your cold beer in cold beer New Mexico <laughs> yes <laughs> so we're gonna go in I'm gonna have a cold beer Leslie's not because she don't drink beer nope. but she might have something and then um, and we're headed back out to do something else All right. let's get us a cold beer get you a cold beer let's get us a cold beer <laughs> cold beer lager so this is from here a cold beer very good yeah no. green chili beer I don't think I've ever had any beer that is flavored with green chili before it's first for everything you can definitely taste the green chili can you yeah, yeah. for sure all right, Lazy Bear Blonde. <laughs> it's a different taste. What what would that different taste be? <laughs> it's got a bitter finish. Yeah. Okay. Smooth at first, it's got a very bitter finish. Okay. But yeah. good. Tractor hard cider. I haven't had a hard cider in a long, long time. Oh, it's clear. Really good, sweet. Yeah? Yeah. I think the cold beer lager is my favorite, though. Yeah? I figured. Very good. <laughs> yeah. inside cold beer now and we had some cold beer yeah. Leslie had a cold root beer I had a cold I had a flight of cold beers which was really good and they said that um, that we could hang up our decal 
on their decal pole. So we're gonna do that right now. Leslie's gonna do that. If you stop in cold beer, be sure to take a picture with our decal and send it to us and let us know that you stopped here at cold beer and had yourself a cold beer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, next to Bama. <laughs> well, we've had way more fun in this area than I ever thought we would. Yeah, we thought this was going to be like a downtime. We did, man. We can get some things accomplished. Yeah, we were going to be doing editing and filming and stuff, but turns out there's a ton of stuff to do around here. There is quite a bit. And it's very interesting stuff. Um, what did you think about cold beer in New Mexico? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that was a very cool place. Very cool very people that run the place. Very people. Yeah. Big thank you to Shelly and to Danny. Uh, great hospitality. Uh, yes. Made us feel like we were just at home. Let us hang up a decal in their bar, yeah. which was very cool. They um, got the nicest patrons that come in and out of there. Yeah. We spent some time talking to Sam. We did. Very nice to meet yes. Sam. And um, there's some interesting information about the cold beer flag. Yeah. The cold beer flag has been flown in military uh, aircraft. Yeah. It's been up on top of Pikes Peak. Yeah. And best of all, it has flown at Wrigley Field. Field. <laughs> yes. Yeah, your favorite. That's awesome. So the cold beer flag has been all over the place, which is it's just very cool. It has some pictures in there of all the places, places that it's been. Yeah. And people who took it there and all that stuff. So anyway, um, we just had an awesome time here. Um, we can't wait. And they Oh, a welcome boondockers. That's right, yeah. So if you're coming through Cold Beer, well, if you're anywhere near Raton or out in um, Cimarron, Cimarron uh, you can stop in at Cold Beer and you can stay there. Yeah. Um, they don't have any hookups or anything, but if you're self-sustaining, you can boondock there. They'll let you stay. They you have come a, in, have a drink. They serve food. Yeah. They have a beer garden. Yeah, they so. get bands on the weekends, cornhole tournament. You can't beat that, man. No. So go in there, get you some beer, get you some drinks, crawl back to the RV, That's have right. a good time. But we've had a really great time here. And um, now we're headed up into Colorado. Yes. Can't wait. Yes. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with us helping veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is in the description of this video down here. We appreciate you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.